podcast for us to do. Are you getting 10 to 12 hours sleep somewhere? Uh, <laughs> I may have to work on that a little bit. <laughs> hey, Tamigo, there's a, a perception that you did not play as well in the 3-4 as you did in the 4-3. Can you kind of clear up how you played in that? Perception. Per- yeah, exactly. That's why I'm asking. That. Yeah, it's, uh, it, was, it was a big perception that, you know, Tamigo doesn't stick to 3-4, 4, four you yeah, know, whatever. It, it, it's, uh, I played in that defense. Like I stated earlier, I played with the Texans in the 3-4 defense where we were the number one, number two defense in the league. So if I didn't fit in there, then we wouldn't have been that high of ranked. But uh, it's all about you know, being versatile. As a linebacker, you have to be versatile. 4-3, four, 3-4, three, three, four, whatever it is you know, that this coaching staff is looking for me to do, then I'm willing to do that. I, and I've done both, so I'm open to whatever it is. What's, Mika, what was, you different, have a, what was different for you when you when you were in that situation when you were, were playing in the three four as, the, as the middle linebacker? Yeah, what was asked from you that was different than the four three? It wasn't. It wasn't much difference. I think a lot of people put, you know, a lot of people put a lot of, you know, try to make it as different as, but it, it's not as as big a difference as people make it seem. It's uh, you still have you know your particular run fits. You still have certain. Coverages you only, you can only run so many coverages as a defense, so those coverages don't change whether you're in a four three or three. Once you get you a chance have... to look at yourself from last season compared to your previous years in the league, how did you critique yourself your, yourself and your performance in 2012? I think I think it was it was okay. It wasn't wasn't good enough for us to. I don't I think I need to feel like I could have made more impact plays you know, as far as turnover wise to you know, kind of get us going in more in a more positive direction. I feel like I can get more out of myself in that in that category. What kind of relationship will you, you, will you have with uh, I mean have you started to build up a relationship with Bill Davis? I mean he's gonna be kind of the guy in your year. It's all um, it's all new. It's all new and moving forward. We haven't you know been here a couple of days so we we're, we're still learning each other, learning, you know, new teammates, new coaches. So it's uh to be a continuing learning process as we move forward. Do you know, do you know much about uh, Bill, and, and um, have you kind of sought out people? Yeah, I, uh, you know, it's been a while ago, but Bill, he was the uh, defense coordinator when I played in the senior bowl <laughs> back coming out right, of college. Yeah. So it's, it's been a while, but I have, you know, heard of you know, different players that I've ran into have had a lot of great things to say about Coach Davis. How about uh, going back to what you said about you could have created more turnovers? How do you do that? I mean, you're judging yourself. How do you do that? It's uh, it's just more of you know having having more of an insight to go for the ball. Even though you're there to make a play, but you gotta you know make the big play. You gotta go in for the ball. And sometimes when you're just trying to shoot up the tackle, you just gotta go in and try to get the ball. Well, is that with the tumult around the defense? I mean, different court. Is that part of why you think you you guys didn't create that? I mean, what uh, when you look was, at that, why? Yeah. I, it was a lot of moving parts on the defense, as you all know, and it's uh, different. Definitely a lot of changes going, you know, week in and week out. But you know, from from our standpoint as players, we just gotta go out and do what the coaches ask us, and you know, just trying to learn different things. During the, during last year, we had to learn, you know, different things kind of each week. Do you think the three four has any <coughs> impact on on the ability to to do that to create turnovers? I mean, it was such uh, a big issue. Before. Four three three four does doesn't. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't. Do you I mean, think? What does Connor Barwin bring to this defense? Uh, Connor is Connor's great great friend. First and foremost, he's a, he's going to be a, Connor's a good pass rush, and he's a really good pass rush. I think he can he can bring some added pressure to the quarterback. For him. I mean, Why didn't you get some of the other changes? Like, I guess uh, someone where 